Hello everybody, my name is Hưng Vũ. I am the first author of the very paper, Robust Anomaly Detection in Videos Using Multi-Level Representations. So, the problem we would like to solve in this work is video anomaly detections, where we would like to detect anomaly events in video data. Anomaly events are defined as events that occur infrequently in comparison to normal events. An example is shown in the, the figure below. Uh, in this scene, we have a lot of pedestrians moving on the footpath and any other objects that illegally move on this footpath can be considered as uh, anomalies objects and the purpose of the system is to detect that kind of objects. There are lots of deep detectors to detect anomalies objects. Uh, in video, they have many beyond convolutional autoencoders or conditional generative adversarial networks. And most of them work on low level features, for example, resource, edges, or motion. Low level features had two main problems, two main issues. In the first issue, uh, they usually produce fragmented and interactive detections. Like in this example, the, the anomalies here is a uh, girl, but the detection results is fragmented into the top part and the bottom part. The second problem is that this method has many phone detections by noise and environment changes, like in this figure. In this figure, the, the detection result have two false detections. So low-level features are unreliable and ineffective. To solve this problem, we propose to detect abnormalities at abstract level. This abstractness can be adjusted via deep convolutional networks, where low-level features represent uh, low-level information like edges, corners, or colors, and high levels can represent ab the abstract concepts like objects and their relationship. So, as a result, we can detect the host objects and so the first problems of fragments and interruption. And then we can combine low level and abstract level detections together as so that uh, we can reduce phone detections and so the second problem. The underlying reason for that uh, for for this approach is that two anomalies it not only appears as one level of presentation, it should appear as many levels of presentations. So we call our proposed framework multi-level anomaly detection and it contains three steps. In the first step, given a video, we will use a denoising autoencoder to check high-level representations of that video and then we will apply low-level detectors on the frame data to detect anomalies. We also use another high-level detector to detect anomalies at high-level representation of the video. Combining these results, we will obtain the final detection result. The next question is how to detect anomalies at one level. We are mainly based on conditional games or C game. This is this was proposed by Isona et al. in their work of Pixel to Pixel. For the for C game, it generates another type of image given one type of image. In this work, we use a pair of framed images and optical flow images. Like in this figure, given a frame, we use CGAN to generate the corresponding optical flow to image. This diagram shows how a metal work to detect anomalies at one level. Given a frame here, we use CGAN to generate the corresponding optical flow and then compare it with the two optical flow adjusted by 
open CV library and then uh, compute the difference between those optical flow images normalizing the result and get the error map the underlying idea for this uh, framework is that CL is changed on normal uh, data of predictions moving on the footpath so it can generate the optical flow containing the normal motion even a frame with anomalous objects uh, the two optical flow adjusted by open CV will contain anomalous motion but the generated optical flow just contains all normal motion of projection so by computing the, the difference between two optical flow images we can uh, localize the location of anomalous motion similarly we use another gang to generate the corresponding frame given the two optical flows image and compare the generated frame and the two frame to get the, the, the error map of appearance. In this map, we can uh, detect the locations of the anomaly appearance. Combining two error maps together, we can get the final error map. And tethered in this map, we obtain the binary detection map at one level. Overall, our framework contains two phases, training phase and detection phase. For the training phase, we first compute optical flow image for every frame, and we change two denoising autoencoders for frame data and optical flow data. At each level of presentation, we train a pair of CGANs to generate uh, optical flows image from frame image and generate frame image from optical flow image. For detection phase, given a testing video, we also adjust optical flow image for every testing frame and also you to train denoising autoencoders to adjust high level representation for frame and optical flow data and apply sequence to detect anomalies at each level finally combining detection maps at many levels to get the final detection we conducted some experiments to prove that our combined detections are better than low level detection we have three versions of our methods ml's ad euro euros mean low level uh, it used low level features only ml ad Euro plus NS mean low level features plus high level features learned by pre trained NSNet MLAD Euro plus trees low level features and high level features uh, adjusted by our trained denoising autoencoders. This table shows the result of our experiments on three sets of PES 1, PES 2, and Avenue. So, where else? Combinations of low level features and high level features is charted by train denoising auto encoders uh, gives the best result. This figure below explains why the high level feature learned by denoising auto encoders are better than one learned by LSNet. If you look at the error map uh, of LSNet, because high errors at the location of normal objects and also high errors at the locations of the anomaly so it means that LSNet cannot distinguish between normal and abnormal uh, objects uh, it is because LNS is trained on image nets for the general purpose so it cannot uh, distinguish the difference between uh, normal and abnormal objects by contrast, denoising autoencoder is trained uh, on specific scenes of pedestrian moving on footpaths, and so it can 
place high errors at the location of the bicycle and low errors uh, around the location of pedestrians and so this error map have maybe better quality than this one Here are some examples of detection results provided by our video anomaly detection framework. In this figure, there is an anomaly object here that is bicycle. Low level detector cannot find it. Meanwhile, high level detector can be uh, localized is correctly, and so we have a correct detection. In the second row, we have a large anomaly object here. Low level detector can detect it but fragmented. High level detector can detect it correctly and combining the low levels and high level detection, we have uh, the result without fragment. We also compare uh, our methods with other state of the art video anomaly detection in the literature. So the table, this table shows that our method significantly improved over the state of the art deep detector. For the best one and best two, our methods have maybe ten percent improvements uh, in the criteria of the equal error rate at the pixel level. For Avenue dataset, it can obtain four percent improvement. In this work, we propose some issue of low-level feature-based detectors that are the fragmented and interrupted detection regions and uh, these detectors have many phone detections by noise and environment changes. So we also propose a combination of low-level and object-level uh, detectors to get a better detector with more reliability and the less phone detections. The contribution of this work is that our work is the first one to combine both low level and object levels for video anomaly detection. And we obtain a very good result with the improvements of at least 4% in pixel levels equal error rates for video anomaly detection tasks. Thank you for your attention.